Hello and welcome to Forex.academy, the number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing Trading Psychology Session 2. In Session 1, we discussed the importance of having a quiet work environment with as few as possible distractions, and at least two 15-inch or larger computer screens to help you assimilate all the information from your charting, and of course to be up to speed when it comes to economic data releases, and with an understanding of how these might impact your trading. All of these things are critical components of trading psychology. Okay, so you have planned your time, banished friends and family, kids and other distractions from your work area. Now what? Well, another area where new traders typically fall down is being unrealistic when it comes to trading losses. Everybody loses trades at some point, but in Forex trading you should really be taking a long-term view. The best traders work to averages, they look for more wins than losers, and try to contain their losses by using sensible stop losses. They also typically like their winning trades to run two times greater than any losses they would incur. One of the largest areas where new traders fall down is by not applying sensible stop losses and then getting closed out by their broker due to margin call. Either this or traders will simply throw in the towel when they have gone through the pain barrier and then immediately double the size of subsequent trades in order to chase their losses in order to try and make their money back. This is typically how gamblers operate and of course when it comes to gambling the house generally always wins. Some of the best traits of professional traders is consistency of trading methodology while looking at the long game and not the short game and being disciplined. When discipline fails which is largely down to stress then trading breaks down and fails too. Another area where traders fail is due to greed, where they hang on to winning trades for far too long and try and squeeze every last pip out of their trade. This often leads to price action reversals and where trades move against them. This often results in a trader going from a position of profit to then running the position into a negative territory. This happens simply because they would not take a profit when they had it, because they wanted more. Professional traders know when to get out of a trade and do not let winning trades go into negative territory. Even if they need to exit the trade with a small profit, they simply wait for the next trade setup and go again. Here at Forex.Academy, we have a full site of educational tools to help you become a professional currency trader, and they are all freely available to use on our website. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to cover in future, or if you would like to discuss the topics we have covered. Have a great day.